five top tips to support early years in childcare apprentices. In this video, we're going to discuss our top tips to support you throughout your early years apprenticeship, making sure you get the most out of it and become the best practitioner you could possibly be. Hi, I'm Katie and I work as part of the early years team who help to support practitioners in day nurseries and preschools. Tip number one, ask questions. There is no such thing as a silly question. Remember, as an apprentice, your job at the setting is to learn as much as you possibly can to become a fantastic early years practitioner in the future. So you aren't expected to know everything when you've started. Use your training time as an opportunity to ask and learn. This shows your colleagues and managers that you have a willingness to learn and be the best you can be. Tip number two is to make sure you talk to others in your settings. Make sure you get to know the colleagues that you're working with on a regular basis. Find out a little bit more about them on a personal level. Find out why they do their job and what the responsibilities of their job are. It's important to make sure you form positive relationships with the other people you're working with. So if you ever need to support each other, you've got a good foundation to work from. Tip number three is to make sure you organise your time effectively. The workload of an early years and childcare apprentice is a lot to handle. Not only are you working full time, but you're also studying, doing your coursework, doing off the job training, any extra CPD or training required by your setting, and it can be a lot to organise. So make sure you take some time each week to organise the week ahead. You could do this through using the calendar on your phone and making sure you block in sections of time to complete each task. You might like to write to-do lists or you might also like to use a planner. But make sure that you also plan in time to do self-care and things that you enjoy. You've got to make sure that you've got the energy to look after you so you can look after others. Number four is to try your best. It's important to remember that you aren't expected to know everything as an early years apprentice but your setting should be able to see that you're putting in an effort to learn as much as you can to become the best practitioner you can be. Make sure to ask questions, make sure to be yourself and to always keep pushing to be better. Tip number five is to be a team player. When you work full time, you spend so much of your life within an early year setting. So it's important to form good relationships with the people around you. By being a team player, you form a positive atmosphere, which is great for you and the children. It could be that at the end of the day, you offer to take out the nappy bin. It's not a great job, nobody loves to do it, but it shows that you're willing to do your bit for the team. Or it also could be as something as simple as when you're on your break, offering to make your colleagues a cup of tea as well. So here's a quick recap of the tips. One, ask questions. Two, talk to others. Three, organise your time. Four, try your best. Five, be a team player. If you found this useful, make sure to like and subscribe to Twinkle Early Years on YouTube where we regularly share updates for early years apprentices and general practitioners to support and guide them throughout their early years journey.